Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles. Coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Baltimore Ravens taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, the Ravens have perennially been in the conversation. This year, they knock down that door, they win the AFC, and here they are in the Super Bowl. And remember, they've won in recent years. Super Bowl 35 in Tampa, Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans. What a stretch they could put together if they could claim another title here. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6 and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Hurt's going to keep it running right. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And a tackle there by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's second and five now from the 37. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. 
They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. On first and 10, it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Henry up the middle. And he'll take this down to the 33. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Jackson options out left and holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. On third down, Jackson steps away to his left. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one and it'll come out to the 25. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They begin with a run by Barkley. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Boy, you go three and out on your first drive, and that's not the way you want to start this drive either. Doesn't seem like they're really into it just yet. No, first four plays, you don't want to call it a disaster, but not looking very sharp. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 
Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction. Well, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. First down carry for Henry. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 3-0 is our score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 17, here's second and seven. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. Second down, they go again with Henry. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll come up now third and nine. Jackson. That is caught, and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain of 22. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Inside handoff, Henry. Able to power through, and this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. 
Running from the gun with Henry. And he's got this down to the 35. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. To throw is Jackson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They go play action now. Jackson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Tucker's kick is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25 yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Quick slant to Brown. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Running left, it's Barkley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Barkley inside handoff. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Hurt sets up to throw it. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. A gain there of 30 big ones for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed, 
Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They go play action with Hertz. Got a man open, it's Ross. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw? Maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. A first down carry for Barkley, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Second and 11 now. Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead in this Super Bowl. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. Elliott good with a PAT, and they take the lead here at 7-6. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. On second down, here's Jackson. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now a second and two. Now Jackson. He completes it to Henry. Shedding through the defense. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half.
Here's second and three. Here's Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And Jackson throwing once more. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Jackson now. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Tucker's kick is good, and they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach. This has yeah, certainly been a fun one to watch gonna so play far. We knew this was going to be a battle, quarter, but we have not been, been a disappointed. Tight contest this so is the far. kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25 yard line. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 
45 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Jackson on first down. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now it's Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle made down at the 33. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Raven passing game getting in sync, another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. 19 yards for Derrick Henry. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll go to Barkley again. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing his hurts. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Up the middle with Barkley. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a yard. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to have it here just past the 25. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. After the interception, here's Jackson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Third quarter, Super Bowl 58. Here's a second and 10 now. Here's Jackson to throw. And this is going to be caught? No, they say it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now second and five. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. When the spotlight is at its brightest, and let's face it, it's the Super Bowl, those types of plays come out, don't they? Absolutely. A big-time catch on the biggest of stages. Do you think that that one's going to live on? We're going to see this for a long it's time. definitely going to live on forever with him, that's oh, for sure. No doubt. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage. But right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. After the costly interception late, good job by him to keep it himself that time. Just tuck it, run it, and scramble for the marker. Don't give the coverage another chance at taking it away from you. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second down, here's Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. They begin with Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss he's in the pocket the protection holds up he sees his man come free but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown from the gun on third down jackson that is caught and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 
They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Throwing is Jackson. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is taken around the 12. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles' offense back out onto the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okuwebunam. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now second and four. Hurts. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot, and that time it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early, and sometimes they get too soft in their coverages, but not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the four. Without a doubt. Obviously, a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time. Got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25 yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Hurts and the Eagles now down by 12. A little under a minute 50 remaining. They've come so far this year but they need two quick scores late in this Super Bowl. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Pass complete. Got her. And they're able to get this one across the 35. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there. And for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. But first down hurts. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Another try, second and 10 now. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Well, what a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that went to the right side and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. This is fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, They've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and 10 now. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 19. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route, it's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground another try from the 19 second and 10 throwing his hurts toward the center of the field but it's incomplete a lot of practice time a lot of thinking goes into two minute drills even on the defensive side so now you want to make sure the guys understand continue to be aggressive but make sure you're smart in doing so and now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete with the clock showing 18 seconds now to go. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. And it's all over. Just one is left standing, and that one is the Baltimore Ravens, your Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.